Hi friends, in this series, we are going to create a basic WordPress plugin in an MVC way. We will create our plugin using this boilerplate. I am going to post the link of this repo in the description. So let's get started. The first step is to download this boilerplate and make necessary search replace in it so that we can have our base plugin to start our work. We don't have to do this search and replace manually. We have got a tool here that would make this task easy. I'm going to copy this command and execute it inside my terminal. The command has two parts, downloading the script and executing the script. I think downloading is complete now and it has started executing the script. The first thing it is asking us is to accept the terms and conditions. If you want to read all terms and conditions before accepting, then you can go to this link now. Basically, the script is licensed under GPL version 3. So all terms and conditions mentioned under GPL 3 are applicable here. I am going to accept the terms and conditions so that we can proceed. The next thing the script is going to ask us is replacements to be done. Right now it is asking us for the slug of our plugin. We are going to create a plugin named example me. So I am going to keep the slug as example hyphen me. Now it is asking us for other replacements as well and I am going to quickly provide it all the replacements that we need. Now that it has done all the replacements, we can find the plugin inside a generated plugin directory. Let's go inside the directory. And here is our plugin. I'm going to copy our plugin into the WordPress plugin directory. And now I'm switching to my WordPress installation. We can see our plugin here. I'm going to activate it and let's see what happens. So now the plugin is activated. And we can see here a link to a, the settings page. Let's click here and check if the settings page is accessible or not. So here is the settings page. The boilerplate comes with this default settings page. And we can make any changes that we want in the settings page to make it suitable for our purpose. That's it in this video.